Middle East. World Tartarian oh, of Floridian American history. Like I said, there's no Fertile Crescent in the Middle East. Okay, I have a very hard time believing that land originated in the Fertile Crescent. There was four rivers going out of Eden, the Euphrates, Tigris, um, the Pison, and the Gihon. Two of them uh, have not been located. They don't know where they are. They say maybe they're dried up. They don't know. So we only have the two to go off of. And that is pretty much the only evidence that they have that the Middle East is the Fertile Crescent. Mesopotamia, right? Mesopotamia is pretty much synonymous with Fertile Crescent. But what if I told you Mesopotamia is Mississippi Potamia, Mississippi or maybe it's Mexopotamia, the Gulf of Mexico, which the Mississippi feeds into. Now, you're probably thinking, well, if this were the true cradle of civilization, we would expect to find one Abrahamic religion there, you know, that, that originated there. Well, I'm telling you that Islam originated in the Gulf of Mexico, in the southeastern okay. United States. All right, we're in it. We're in it. Here we go. Now, how is that? You have the Muscogee people of Florida. Okay. You have South Carolina, which was once part of Florida territory with its crescent, Arab crescent and palm tree, which is an Arab insignia, Islam, Islamic insignia. You have... Uh, New Orleans, which was at one time called Crescent City, the Crescent Moon. You have Texas, which is the Lone Star. So if you know anything about Islam, it's a Crescent Moon and a star. Alabama has an Arabic prefix, Al-Abama. Okay? Mm. You have along the Mississippi River, you have in Athens, a Venice, a Cairo, Memphis, uh, Alexandria, uh, a Carthage. You, you can go on and on. Okay, so which one of these are first? Did Were these just explorers that were so infatuated with the Bible, they named everything they saw after the Bible? I don't think that's the case. For example, while I was talking about the Muscogee, let's, let's look at some, some Muscogees so that you guys can see what I'm talking well, what about. What state did you say had the Islamic flag in it or a symbol? Well, South, Carolina. Carolina. State. South Carolina. Has a crescent. As South Carolina has the crescent. So, South Carolina has the crescent. Okay. Florida has Crescent City. I can show you guys all this. Oh, snaps, bro. Actually, a mobile Alabama is actually Mabilla, and it was called Mabilla until they anglicized it. Mabilla is Alabama backwards. Mabilla, Alabama. Okay. This is an Arabic prefix. Alabama, Algonquin, uh, feed me some other ones, Al Albuquer Albuquerque, okay? This is like algebra, alcohol, these are all Arabic words. Interesting, um, interesting. Now, who, who was the first people to come to Florida? They were the Spanish. Well, what if I told you that months before Columbus set foot in the Americas, that Spain had just kicked the Moors, a Muslim empire, out of Spain? Okay, now it's getting interesting. Now we're and getting interesting. There you have your runaway Muslims, okay? Now, the most famous group of some uh, natives in Florida are called the Seminoles. Seminole means to run away. It also means Semitic. Seminole is the Semitic. These are Semitic people in America, and I'm going to show you what they look like. So the Moors were Islamic? Yes, sir. And you're saying that Islam started in the States? Uh, I'm going to show you some pictures, and you decide for yourself. Just don't put Muhammad up there. Yeah. <laughs> are you allowed to do that in Rockfin? <laughs> <laughs> you, you are. I'm not. Here we go. Can you see it? Yep, we can see some. Yeah. What if his name is actually Mohammed? That's well, just America. That's a lot more American. Right. Mohammed. Now, this man you are looking at right here is a Native American. Believe it or not. Now, you raise your hand when you tell me you think you're looking at a North African or a non-American. Okay. These are all Native Americans, by the way. Officially, we're told. Yeah, I mean that guy looks like Moroccan or something. Like exactly. That. Moroccan is Moors. So Mauritania, Morocco. Mauritius. All right. So if you're listening at home. He's going through uh, the great the, the doctor is going through a series of pictures, uh, which, as Johnny said, they look Moroccan. They look they look, they don't look like Native Americans. They're definitely not They're, dressed like Native Americans. That's not these the are, usual Native these American. Are your, these are not your feather and uh, feather and war paint Native Americans. These are turban wearing. Uh, and these Arabic are the more clothing. Billy Bowlegs. Like, oh, that's Billy Bowlegs right there. Yes, you know Billy Bowlegs. Yes, good job. Is that for yeah. real? Said it yeah. Again. Oh. Billy Bowlegs. So the average height. Now we're going to uh, introduce another dimension to this whole thing. Uh, the average, the average height to Seminoles, six foot four. You know what their average life expectancy was up until about the 1960s? How long? A hundred years old in the wild. Damn. Out in the wild, no air conditioning, no nothing, just roughing it every day. Six foot four. They look like no one in the Americas. The good genes. Yeah. Well.